I'm Jane Tarrison and I'd like to tell you about my experience with Spooky 2. So I've been chronically ill for three and a half years. Um, I was labelled with fibromyalgia after a, um, a really serious illness. Um, my doctor said that that is a label that they give to people that they don't know what's going on. So I um, thought I need to take responsibility for my own health and find a way of getting well myself. Um, I tried many things. Um, some worked partially for a little bit, some didn't. Um, I ordered a Spooky 2 and it arrived just before Christmas and I started the 12 day um, detox. Um, that was great because it just um, gets rid of a whole layer of toxins that we hold in our body so the frequencies can um, affect us uh, more profoundly. So I did the detox and then I started doing biofeedbacks because I felt um, that was a more specific way of treating what was going on with me because um, no one really had any answers as to what was actually wrong with me. So the biofeedbacks worked really well. Um, I did those for about um, six or eight weeks. And then um, because I was making so much progress and I was feeling much better in myself, my energy levels were getting better, my pain levels were reducing, brain fog improving massively. I ordered a Gen X generator and a digital um, digitizer um, for doing biofeedback. Um, I just want to say that they're amazing and, and such a game changer and I use that all the time now for doing biofeedbacks and I'm getting loads of um, really good results. Um, you didn't see me when I was really poorly but uh, I look like a different person now and um, my energy is returning. Although I can kind of like get really excited when I get more energy and overdo it and then I'll set myself back. So that's one thing I kind of like need to uh, need to work with to not overdo it um, in my recovery. But it's hard. I'm an Aries. I'm an artist. I've got things to do. Um, and it's really exciting when you get some energy and you start to feel well. Um, but yeah, you can kind of like put yourself back a little bit. So uh, if you're on the road to recovery, um, treat yourself gently and uh, don't overdo it. So um, in a little bit, I want to show you um, the equipment that I've got and I'll show you a couple of examples of how I use it. If you yourself are suffering with um, health issues or you have people in your family or friends that are struggling with big health challenges, I really feel for me, this has made a massive difference in my life and um, there's great feedback and help available on Facebook groups. Um, where other users um, answer questions that you have as you're kind of starting um, with that kind of learning curve of using new equipment um, and it really helps you get through some of the stumbling blocks that you have um, with learning a whole new um, a whole new way of kind of working with your health and equipment and things. So I'll show you that in a little bit. These two are the first generators that I bought. These are the XMs. Um, this is my generator X. This is the sample digitizer. These are remotes and you see with the light sh flashing here, you can see that they are all sending me frequencies. That's my laptop that I'm using to um, run all the programs through. I'm used to using a Mac. I had to get a, a laptop that runs on Windows 7 or above. I just got this from Facebook. Um, I think it cost me 20 or 30 pounds and it works great. So let me show you how I do a biofeedback on the sample digitizer. These plates. So what I do is just lick my finger. So any body fluid will do. 
put the plates together like that and then pop them back in. They have two locating pegs and they just click in like that, nice and secure. So that's all ready to go. And then we go to the laptop. So you go to here, presets to set up your bio feedback. Click on the little house image and that brings you to the menu that you can choose which um, method you want to use. So I'm going to click on biofeedback which is the first one. Because I'm using the sample digitizer I'm clicking on the second one down. And then what I've been using a lot is hunt and kill. I'll click on that and then I'll go to the control over here. That brings up a different screen. And then once I click on Overwrite Generator, and then we go to Generator 8, which is this one, and that's got the digitizer on there. So we click on that one. And you see here, the Hunt and Kill comes up. And that lets you know that, you, that that's all working right. So, and then we go down here, um, and it says run on gen so if we put in the generator that we want to use in this case it's generator 6 so you type in number 6 there you see that's changed to number 6 and then you already suppress the scan button this just loads the information onto the generator And then all of the other programs that might be you might be running switch off at that time, they just pause. So this is the biofeedback scan. And you can see here while the digitizer is doing a scan, all of the other remotes have gone onto pause so it doesn't interfere with the frequencies of the reading.